the early 1970s, a young college student from Five Forks was asked to write a paper about her home church. Part of her description included the phrase, it's a church of the community and in the community. Hello, I'm Pastor Ray, and I have the privilege of spending much of my time helping Five Forks continue the reputation that this congregation gained years ago. The reputation of Christians caring for the poor and the sick around them, it dates back to the early church as described in the book of Acts. And as one author noted, the greatest attraction of the early Christians was their willingness to aid those in need. And this was accomplished by the Christians choosing to freely give of their material possessions to those who are in need. Interestingly, even the non-Christians back then noticed that the Christians not only took care of their own, but they came to the aid of everyone in need. And they believed that this was a natural outcome of knowing, and loving, and following Jesus. And thankfully, this has been a hallmark of the Christians at Five Forks for generations. And so I want to focus this report primarily on this aspect of my work as one of your pastors, being in the community and assisting with needs in the community. Now, for this to happen, it takes deliberate intention on our part as a faith community. I'm pleased that we choose to put a significant amount of our finances in funds like the Deacon Fund, the Food Pantry, Work Projects, and other similar ministries. These funds primarily reach people who may not attend our church at all. In order to do this, it takes your continued generosity as you give and allow the money to be di directed in these ways. Each of these funds make assistance to the people in the community possible. So I want to say thank you for your continued generosity. This past year, we've developed a medical equipment ministry that was really, has really taken off. We have considerable inventory of equipment organized and cataloged by one of our, actually our Eagle Scouts in the congregation. We literally get calls every day for assistance with medical equipment, and this provides another opportunity for us to be in the community. For us to be in the church and the community, it takes a large number of committed volunteers, and each week many people volunteer their time and energy to assist in these ministries and others like them and I have the privilege of working alongside many of you. For to meet the needs of the community, it takes many people noticing the needs of their friends and neighbors and then directing them to the church to request help. My prayer is that we will always have a reputation of being the church in the community that helps people. Another significant part of my involvement this past year has been being part of our various discipleship opportunities, including church-wide events like the ball game and the 5K run. I've enjoyed deepening friendships with many of you. Thank you for allowing me into your lives and for coming into my life to help me mature as a follower of Jesus. I've also enjoyed being part of the Wednesday evening Bible study, which focuses on the video of the week from the Bible Project. I've come to really appreciate the sermon lab that meets each Sunday after the second service. Here we're able to talk more about what we heard in the morning sermon and to let the teaching soak in and have more of an impact in our lives. See, I believe it's important for us to gather regularly in smaller groups and talk with each other about what it means to know and love and follow Jesus. It's important that we encourage one another, equip one another, and yes, at times, even rebuke or correct one another as necessary. So may God give us the humility to always be open and honest with each other and trust each other so that we grow more and more to be like Jesus. May God continue to give us the conviction that following Jesus means giving up our own rights and privileges, just like Jesus did, and living lives of self-sacrifice for the sake of others. May we continue to make Jesus and his lifestyle the central focus of who we are as a church. Thank you for the opportunity to serve as one of your pastors.